Well, hello there. I didn't see you. Thanks for coming into our YouTube page and checking it out. Please take your shoes off. Take your jacket off. Put your jacket back on. Put your shoes back on and watch this video. This is an old clip, isn't it, Joe? It's an oldie and a goodie. It's an old and a good. Old good uh, for your eyes' eyes. Use your hands' hands to leave a comment if you like it. If you don't like it, then don't say anything because we have fragile feelings. But please enjoy this old clip from The Andy Show's history while you get ready for new clips from The Andy Show's future. Coming daily soon. Flat out. Hello and welcome to the final episode of season one of Brandy the Show. How you doing, Joe? I'm doing great. You know what I think of when I say Brandy the Show? Moesha. I, I, that's what I was going to say. Mo to the... Isha. E to the... Which they never say Moesha. I jumped the, the gun. Yeah, the, what they say is Mo to the... E to the... They never say Sha yeah. to the... Yeah. It's just Mo to the E to the... Yeah. Um, the other cool thing about this reference is that I'm sure it is one that everyone watching this show <laughs> understands yeah. and okay. loves. If you're a big fan of Moesha, um, please write in with your favorite episode and maybe your favorite guest star uh, or maybe Sister Sister. I almost got hit by Sister Sister, one of the sisters, uh, with their Tia car. or Tamara? It's anybody's guess. Yes, it'll be. I don't know. <laughs> but one of them lived in an apartment building on the block that I lived on like 10 years ago. I was walking down the sidewalk, and she came flying out of her garage. Yeah, and just like almost killed you. Yeah, and then she slammed on the brakes and apologized. Yeah, and I accepted her apology, and I said, "All right, have a good day." And then I realized that's one of the girls from Sister Sister. Yeah. I almost got stabbed by Mr. Belvedere. Really? Really? Yeah, in a knife fight. Did you deserve it? Yeah. Yeah, we were fighting. <laughs> that Would you like is... to elaborate? That's no, a... that's no. that's all you need to know. Yeah. What were you fighting? The Belves. Uh, trying to stab me <laughs> in the in my the gut. In your gut? Oh yeah. my god. He owed me money and I owed him money. It was really it was an odd situation. Did you owe each other the same amount of money? It was exactly the same amount of money. So you could have just walked away. It was twelve dollars each. <laughs> but we were gonna fight for it. Yeah. The bells don't f around. Well he's always said he's that. taken no losses. So uh we hope that you've enjoyed season one of the Andy show. Uh we've had a good time doing it so far. Um, we think we've done a good job. I think that the episodes have been at least fun for us. We <clears> hope you've enjoyed them. We've seen plenty of animated GIFs online that indicate that maybe you've enjoyed it, or at the very least you've taken time to animate me doing a shower dance, um, or any number of things, or Joe getting hit in the face with pellets. Uh, you might have noticed that towards the end of season one, we transitioned into a mostly uh, Joe getting hit in the face with gross things uh, themed show. Yeah. And I think that that's something that we might be able to continue on with for season two because I find that that might be the best part of the show that we have so far. Yeah. Well, you like that. It needs no improvement. It, uh, it's I mean, perfect. Maybe we could tweak it a little. But here's the thing, and this is what you're not considering. What? Joe and I grew up together. We were a few years apart in age. Joe was older than me. When we were younger, Joe being older than me, it's important when you're, when you're cousins or family members, the older ones are the cooler ones. That's just the way it works. And so at about age seven, I vowed that I would get Joe back for being cooler and slightly mean to me because I was younger by when we were adults, I would make a video podcast for the internet wherein you saw the future he would get humiliated by dog food to the face at least one time and so now that that's happened i feel like we can do anything else i'm i'm over it now i feel like my Great. vendetta is done i think we should hang on to it. all right so cool we will yeah. but i'm just saying on a personal level my <laughs> vendetta feels like it's complete great do you feel good about it no okay all right <laughs> close though no. all right well joe what is as funny that we could replace it with we could hit you in the face that's not as that's funny. not it's funny. I'll give you that. It's somewhat yeah. funny. But Did it you in the face? Oh, but it's my show, so yeah, yeah. can't do that. Blasco? It's not as funny. Yeah, still funny, not as funny. Uh -huh. yeah, but it's your show right. too, so we can't. Yeah. I mean, we can't. Uh, mm. Honestly, in, in all reality, it's all of our shows. So I mean, it's not really. That is true. You know, but you know, maybe show? we could bring in a crazy new quirky character into season two. Maybe. And they're the, all they do is get hit in the face. Possibly. You know whose show it really is. Who? The viewers. It is. So yeah, we've we've had a lot of highlights in season one. Uh, Joe, how do you how do you feel about our performance so far in this season? I you know I think we've done a pretty damn good job. Yeah, I would tend I to think, agree. Uh, I think uh, we have yeah. compliment each other well. Yeah, oh, yeah. When, when we do give each other compliments, a lot. often. Yeah. 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 That's, that's uh, something that's always made the rest of yeah. our family uncomfortable. Is that for hours on end we would just sit in two uh, chairs not dissimilar to these, mm -hmm. facing each other in yeah. the middle of the living room. And play 
Yeah. Uh, compliment Play ping compliments. pong. <laughs> yeah. Um, and our grandmother would sit and officiate mm-hmm. just right next to us, and we would sit just nose to nose yep. uh, yeah. with our knees sort of, you know, shoulder length apart with our hands, and we would sort of yeah. patty cake to ourselves in our lap. Yeah. Meanwhile, I like your glasses. Oh, I like your shirt. Oh, I like your hair. I like your pants. I yeah. like your shoes. Mm-hmm. Just back and forth for sometimes six to eight hours. Yeah. Uh, and so it, it got down know, to uh, fingernails. Yeah. Like each other's fingernails yeah. and uh, belt buckles. Belt buckles. Shoelaces. Yeah. It's it, like specifics that you don't even think about. The third eyelash from the right on yep. your left yeah. eye. You know. You can never the run out of things to your, be nice my, about. Uh, Tooth. Yeah, I had to get up in there to see the crown. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> really had to get up. And I appreciated there. that because I was feeling uncomfortable about that crown at the time, but you know, you reassured me. Well, you know, that's the thing is that when you're uncomfortable, I like to make you feel better. And I think yeah. that's why we work well on this show together. We all try to pick each other up. Uh, yeah. You know, I know recently that we had to do something that is standard for all comedy podcasts or all shows. Yeah, the FCC genre. has a thing every year where if you're doing any kind of show on the internet, or otherwise, you have to report uh, performance evaluation yep, to the self performance evaluation. So I actually mailed those in uh, uh, last week. Good. So, yeah, Good. awesome. I think it was just pretty much fives across the board. Oh yeah, I think that um, we we gained ourselves fives. Yeah, I tried to way. go with like yeah. a color coding system. Yeah. Um, if I nothing else, then for well. the the fun photos of things that are intermittently cut into the show. That's yeah. probably a five. Five, right there. Mm. five out of five. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Not okay. a five. Hold, out of hold on. No, no, no. Five out of five. Guys, five stars. I just got a. Kind of a disturbing text. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I think uh, Joe. Apparently, they got your they got your copy of the forms Good. from us. Good. Um, I guess they want to talk about it though, because they're not convinced. You know, I guess they've been watching the show, and they're not just. I know you probably just did the standard form and sent it in, whatever. But they. Oh yeah, they, very diligent. I guess they want to talk to you guys. Did you screw it up? My diligence was due. Okay, did you did you screw it up? I don't think. I thought I was very honest. I don't know how you could have screwed this up. I think I was very honest. All right, so what do we have to do? I mean, they said that they they are requiring your presence immediately right now. So you, I, DC. Yeah. So anyway, they, they, I said I would never go back. Well, look, they've been needing you guys there so frequently that they've uh, implemented a. They can now teleport us if oh, they no, want. But I don't even have my purple suit. It doesn't matter if even if you're not ready, you gotta. Gotta go you got to go now. So what uh, they said, uh, what you do is you you cross arms and hold hands. Okay. Right. Well, I can't. Like you were to, just talking. About yeah. It. I can't really. Kind of get close to, you know, get, get over going here. to. Uh, I'm not going. Just you. Yeah, it's, right. I think it's just oh, you. Okay. Just you right. two. Well, you yeah. Why don't we sit like we used to. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so like you, like you did okay. with your compliments. All right. All right. So cross oh, arms feels, and hold hands. feels comfortable. Good. Right? All right. It's like we're home. And uh, my hands are very cold. They are. I feel that at all times. Okay. Now what do we say? And then on on three, you say. Twinkle, twinkle, mm-hmm. little show. Uh-huh. I can't believe it's time to go. Okay. okay. All right. Ready? Yep. One, One two, two, three. three. Twinkle, twinkle, little show. I can't believe it's time to go. I can't believe that worked. Twinkle, twinkle, shuck and jive. I can't believe we just arrived. Oh, oh fucking. It's you. Hi, Congress. Hi, hi, hi Congress. Um, first of all, thank you so much for letting us uh, bring our own microphones again. We really do appreciate it. It's a pain that you bring us back here, but at least you give us the, the option of, of bringing our own mics. Yeah. The other thing I'm terribly frustrated at is this, uh, we talked about the scorecard, and I believe this is put out by the Department of Justice, right? You come in and do this evaluation, and there's a color-coded scheme here, and it's, it's different categories of presumption of openness, effective system in place for responding, proactive disclosure, improved timeliness and backlog reduction. I mean, we had as wide array of people as you can possibly have, from individuals to the New York Times to the ACLU to a former CBS News reporter to, to Vice. To, I mean, we got as wide of a swatch of people as we possibly could. And there wasn't anybody that believed that, that in general things were going well. And yet, when you do your own scorecard, for instance, at the Department of Justice, you're solid green. You give yourself five out of five on presumption of openness, five out of five on an effective system in place for responding, proactive disclosure. Well, I mean, look, Chevy, it's, uh, may I call you Chevy again? Look, Chevy, we do a show, it's basically, we just come up with it every week. You know, we... we come up with most of it off the top of our heads. We Absolutely. try, but yeah. I mean, we, we do our best. We think that based on what we've done, people seem to enjoy it. I mean, we've talked to people in, around our neighborhood and the 
area that we live in and they seem to like it. I, I don't know why you don't like it. Yeah. And I mean, Vice is kind of a hard critic on everybody. So yeah. I don't know if, you know. Vice has never liked us. No. Yeah. Yeah. They have a vendetta. Do you really us. think anybody in the world believes the Department of Justice is the most, they're, they're at the top of their game. They got an A plus, five for five. Do you really believe that? Well, I, I mean, think, I think we're pretty transparent with our patrons. Yeah, the reality is we are not the Department of Justice. I do know a little bit about Proactive. Um, I've never used it, but I've seen it in the mall kiosks. Oh, is yeah. that what you're talking about? The acne medicine for the skin? Because if that is the case, uh, Chevy, then I, I mean, I, we could get some for you. I don't know. But if you're criticizing our comedic abilities, I mean, I, let's see you tell a joke, motherfucker. What, where's your jokes at? For real. Where's your jokes at? You live in La La Land. That's the problem. We do. We live in Los Angeles. I mean, yeah. that's sometimes yes. referred colloquially to as La La Land. Yeah. I mean, you can't hate us for living in Los Angeles. We live where we live, man. Where yeah. do you live? Washington, I mean, D.C. It's not even a state. Yeah. You live in a, Wa a district of Columbia. He lives in Wa La Land. Yeah, Wa La Land. Yeah. You live in Fantasyland because it ain't working. You're a very nice person. And I'm sure most of the people are very nice people. It ain't working. 550,000 times. Americans put forward a request and got a rejection saying doesn't qualify. I mean, I, I think we've accepted most people that have wanted to be our friend on social media or it's true. any other. We've accepted all patrons. Ah, all patrons. Literally are everyone that wants to be a patron, we accept. There isn't even a policy to decline. If no. someone says they want to do it, then we, then we just say, come on, do it. What about you? What about you, Mr. Chevy? I see you denying people all the time. Frankly, the last time I was here... Which, by the way, apologies for not bringing my purple suit. I know you liked it last time. But the last time I was here, I saw you standing in line to go to the bathroom. Somebody asked if they could get in front of you because they had to be in session. In court session or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's called. We don't have to know. Congress sessions. Jeff sessions. They had to be in with Jeff sessions in the bathroom. Wanted to get in before. You said no. You also wouldn't let me get my proper lunch that I ordered. You think that's working? Is that a presumption of openness? Do you think that's proactive disclosure? I beg to differ. I think it's absolutely fundamentally wrong. We're at the heart of why I think there is a problem. Because you all think you're doing a great job. I do think we're doing a great job. And to tell you the truth, I think our patrons feel the same way. Exactly. I mean, I, what do you want from us, man? We're a comedy show. Why are we in D.C.? It doesn't make sense why we keep having to be sent back here. We don't even know why we're here. The other thing is that we teleported here. I didn't even know that was possible. And your evaluation says you have no room for improvement. I didn't even know that there was a grading system. Then why do you give yourself five out of five? Uh, to right be fair, I handled the grading scale. Hmm. Uh, I turned it in. He did. He filled out all the paperwork. I got it to you in time. I may not have paid my taxes the last three years, but I did turn in uh, this. Did you not pay your taxes for the last three years? It could have been four. You do not tell them that. He was kidding. I was kidding. About the taxes thing. Yes, but I turned he in. He meant to four. say he hasn't paid for Texas. In, yeah. in four years, he has not been in Texas or spent any money in the state of Texas. But I approve of the state, just as I approved of, you know, I signed off on the form that graded how we did. Yep. I got it in on time, and yeah, I gave us fives, because look, I mean, we're doing okay. Yeah, don't I mean, mess I know with right now we're in Congress, so that doesn't really, but you know, we're fine. Don't mess with Texas. I just read the different disclosures, and here it is, in, in, in green, all green. What do you got against green? It's my favorite color, man. It is his favorite color. When we were kids, he'd have birthday parties that were just green themed. Yeah. He, he loves the Incredible Hulk in a way that's like a familial love. Like he loves, like he'd love to give him a hug level. The Philly Fanatic is my favorite mascot. You probably don't even know a lot about the Philly Fanatic, but he does everything. He knows everything about the Philly Fanatic. Mm-hmm. We had 11, 12 people yesterday that absolutely differ. On a bipartisan way, I don't think there's anybody that would agree with you that, that Across the board, most every one of you got great scores, um, and I, I just don't, I just don't buy that. What do you want, man? What do you mean that we, you don't buy the fact that we got good scores? Well, Ask the patrons. That's the thing. You can't give somebody that, look. This is an issue inherently. You can't give somebody the task of grading themselves on something that they enjoy doing. We're going to give ourselves a good grade. We like doing this, and we're probably going to continue to do it. That is, if you'll let us, Your Highness, Mr. Shevitz. Are you able to conduct an electronic search? Or do you rely on the individual agency employees to proactively give you the information? 
Electronic search of what, man? The episodes? Yeah, I mean, I guess you can look into the catalog, like the back catalog of episodes, but I don't... There's not, like, a search button. If you go to theandyshow.tv and look at the posts we've done, you'll see every episode. It's as clear as day. As far as electronic search goes, like a Google or a Bing? Yeah. Maybe Bing. You probably use Bing. You're a Bing man, aren't you? Andyshow.tv. Bing it. Do you search the electronic case files? No, Google or Bing. What's yeah. the Universal Index? I don't know. It, it, is it like the Universal Life Church? I'm actually a minister of the Universal Life Church or a prophet. I can't remember. I'm something. Anyway, I could probably marry you. Do you want to get married? Is that what you're saying? If you get married, he'll do it, and then we can maybe just, you know. Maybe you guys get married. Shevitz? I don't expect you on this spot to, to respond to that, but I do want you to get back to us on this specific point. Fine. We will come back, I guess. And we'll have to, we have to wait. We're, we're done with season one, so we'll have to come back in season two. I, frankly, I'm kind of getting tired of coming to Washington. Yeah. I, I'm not seeing a whole lot that I like. You mostly put us through all kinds of bullshit and make us eat bad food. But if we really have to come back, then we will. Before we go, though, can I just say it's been an honor and a privilege, Mr. Shevitz. As always. We love you so much. Yeah. All right, show, shall yeah, we? Yeah, we should okay. probably head back. Hold on. We're going to do it. Yeah. Just, just give us a second, would you? We're just going to leave our microphones here because it's very likely that we're going to come back anyway. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, there nope. we go. There we go. Sorry. One, two, three. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle little, little show. Little Can't little believe it's time to go. go. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Wow. How was it, guys? It's horrible. He just rails on us for nothing. That guy's a nightmare. What did they say? What do we have to do better? More, everything, everything apparently. apparently we're not doing a good job at anything really uh, it's a good thing we're shutting down for season one because season two's got to be a hell of a lot better all right well we'll think about it uh, we'll be back soon on brandy show we hope you enjoyed that clip from the andy show it was informative interesting and nutritious it's hard to do all of those things but we did it you got all your fiber you got all your nutrients, your mm -hmm. vitamins, your minerals. Sodium. Sodium. You got all of your sodium. All that daily sodium intake <laughs> that you need to be a living, floating, real person. Sugar. Sugar. Okay. Uh, anyway, we hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we will see you soon with new content, and we'll see you soon with old content. Yeah, Who knows we'll be what's seeing happening? you. We'll be seeing you. I'll be seeing you again. In the words of Glenn Danzig, I'll be seeing you in hell. Before you make it to hell, feel free to check out our merch store. The link is below.